Hi guys, my name is Doug. Welcome to the Third Style Garage. This channel is about the restoration of some old cars and shop improvements. Today's project, uh, my good friend Dale and I, he's the one with the nice haircut, are working on his beetle named Hendrick. Uh, if you haven't watched the rest of these uh, videos, I encourage you to go back and, and watch from the start. We took a beautiful car have torn it apart and we're going to return it. I promise Dale, we'll get it back. We'll bring your car back. Um, in this episode, we're going to be working on the luggage tray. I uh, would love it if you give the video a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to post a comment below or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's see what we're up to today. <laughs> Okay, where did we take off, leave off last time? We're working on the luggage compartment. Um, give you a real quick summary if you didn't watch the last video, but I encourage you to go back and watch that. We've got a, a panel here that we've cut. Uh, it's close to fitting well. I put a sheet metal screw in there and there to hold it. Uh, I'm working on uh, fitting a piece in here. And hopefully by the end of the night, this, this, and this will either be tacked together or at least fitting together really well. Need to figure out how to contour this to match the luggage tray. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. We'll end up cutting that out. In the meantime, Dale, tell me what you're working on over here. Um, so we had, um, we had holes here, just, just some simple patches that we wanted to clean up a little bit. So we've cut this um, a little farther out so that it would have, I can do this. So it would have um, a little more space for uh, a patch piece, but then we'll be able to do that patch piece with, um, what do you call that kind of welding? We're gonna butt weld it. There we go. We're gonna butt weld this guy in, and now I'm working on fitting this piece here. And in a lot of ways, part of what I'm doing here is, yeah, I want it to end up being good, but I've never done anything like this before. So it, it's easy to, to try and learn when I know that this is all gonna get covered and nobody's really gonna see it um, because we've got places where people will see and uh, I wanna have some experience um, behind me. So Dale, as you're working on this, what's the most important thing you need? You know, you just need a willingness, willingness to, to try. try. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So we're going to, we'll probably end up uh, butt welding that on the top and edge welding it on the bottom. So it won't look perfectly factory. Um, I don't know what exactly, if that had a flange on it before, but it will be nice and strong and uh, it will it will look pretty good when we're done. And we'll, we'll try to blend it in and here where you can see those spot welds as well so we're gonna get to it and uh we'll update you you know part way through the night as we figure this out so i'm working on getting this piece to fit and uh i've slowly been just working on this joint here to get those curves to match well eventually i will tack that in uh, and i've got it fitting better on this side too this curve is off a little bit but that's because i i need to work on this one next so this steel is a little thicker than the stock so a little easier to cut the tray so now what i did is i scribed this line i'm going to come in and cut that out and and see if i can get this piece to fit fairly well my hope after that is to um, go over to the vise and it'll be fun just trying to form this to form a dimple here to match that, that, and there. Um, and I have a little one right here that I need to match too. Um, and then I think this needs to come up a bit. Um, I had a hard time deciding how, where to locate this tray and uh, or this piece here. What I ended up doing was making sure that it matched height-wise in the back and then it sits on the front here. That kind of determines its height 
And then this, I think, will flex up to match that. Um, I have a little bit of, it's hitting right here. So I've got to trim a little bit off that edge yet. So uh, off camera, because it's not very fun to watch, I'm just going to keep on tweaking these parts to get them closer. All right, we're close to getting this fit. Uh, we're going to sandblast it because we don't know what paint is on here. And we've got the car down to bare paint. Do we need to? Maybe not. I don't know. But we don't know for sure. So we're going to sandblast it. Unfortunately, the hose just broke on the sandblaster. So while I fix that, Dale's going to drill. I marked holes about every inch for the plug welds. It's always good when you mark your holes to set your piece in place. And then uh, just look behind it to make sure that there's good bare steel and that you're not over top of a hole or, or something like that. Um, and then we need to decide if we're going to do... Um, smaller plug welds along this edge. I'm leaning towards that because um, I think that will look most stock, but there's not much overlap here. So it's going to be hard to get a, enough of an overlap there. Although we've got plenty down here, plenty of material. Um, so I think that's, we'll probably do, these are five, will be five sixteenths holes. I think we'll do quarter inch holes down here. Once this piece is in, I think our plan then is to maybe put two or three tacks here to get this surface where we want it. Then we can start matching that. So, all right, let's start. Let's see, we'll just putting random dots. They don't need to look perfectly spaced because they never would have been perfectly spaced from the factory anyways. Um, so I'm going to go a little closer on these because they're quarter inch plug welds instead of five sixteenths. And that'll be perfect. Have fun drilling, Dale. All right, so this patch, these two patches are welded in. The prettiest in the world yet, but it's not ground up. I think that will clean up decently, especially for the part of the car is. The hardest part was down in these corners where I did not get it as clean as I had wished. And so I had some spitting and spattering of the, the welder. So that's what it looks like. Uh, soon back to this corner. And uh, we'll show it to you. We'll show that to you after we clean it up. All right, we are wrapping up tonight's work and uh, I'm happy with how this came out. Um, we decided to leave the weld along the bottom. Most of that aesthetically I'm content with, um, but this part is really nice and smooth. Um, and I like how this blended in right up here. Uh, a little hard to see, but from a distance, uh, that cleaned up really nice. We had one spot right here where this got ground really thin. So uh, I ended up welding way back here and then building it up and then grinding this whole round again, just to make it look fairly stock, but 
we are going to call that one pretty much done. Um, next week, we're moving on to this side. Dale, grab the Wolfsburg West pan. We were learning. Figured we would take all the paint off of that. And uh, apparently, we've either forgotten completely how to remove paint or Wolfsburg West puts really tough paint and primer on their parts. So um, we got most of the paint off, uh, but we're gonna do a little bit more and try a carbide disc. Not carbide, is that right? No, poly. Yeah, it is a polycarbide. Polycarbide disc to see if we can get the rest of that clean. And then that piece will go in here next week. Hello friends, my name is Doug. Welcome to Third Style Garage. It's Wednesday night and we are back working on the 66 Beetle. We are in the luggage tray. Um, let's see how far we get tonight. Last week we uh, removed a bunch of metal and uh, had a patch panel that we purchased, a repair panel from Wolfsburg West. And we're working on fitting that and uh, made a plan for how we're going to install it. Uh, we are going to do plug welds around the edge, seam weld or butt weld all the way along here, plug welds on the bottom. Then we will need to address um, that hole and uh, tighten up this spot on the bottom here. So tonight, I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple tack welds in here, try to get this seam to be as flush as we can uh, put a couple tack welds on the back and uh, I've got a little sheet metal screw here and here that I can put in to hold it in place and then we're gonna work on fitting a patch here and trying to get this to match that contour how are we gonna do it don't know we're gonna figure it out so let's get this tacked in All right, so it is tack welded in and uh, I'm feeling really good about that. I think that this is gonna be real flush. I just was real careful to get the two pieces flush and put a tack weld on and worked my way all the way around. So I think once we weld this whole seam and grind it smooth, I'm hoping that that joint disappears. Uh, same thing across the back. The next step is gonna be this patch and I've got a, a piece ready to go um, I don't know I may have cut it a little too short um, the hope being to weld this seam make it disappear um, trying to get it to sit where where it will sit Come on, approximately like that. Um, and then weld this seam. So I gotta make sure that this curve matches that curve. And then probably drill holes here and plug weld it like we did here, which means I may need a little more overlap. But then I've got these channels in the luggage tray that I'm gonna try to bend this metal to match that. So. My thought there I'm going to bring you over to the vise here so that I might be able to form that in the vise. Let me show you what I mean. All right, take number two on this piece. Uh, the previous one was about a quarter inch too short by the time I got it to fit. So um cut one a little larger i'm going to start again um, my first step is going to be to try to bend this curve second step will be to match these dimples and then uh third step will be to 
bend a little lip in here on the bottom. So let's get started with this curve. I'm gonna mark um, approximately where the curve starts and ends. Um, goes down about two inches. Maybe about there is where the curve starts. Curve ends right about there. Let's go give that a try. All right, we're outside by my uh, little utility trailer, which has a metal pipe welded on the front, which I have found works fairly decent for bending sheet metal. Um, so what I can do Stick that guy in there, just slowly keep doing that. So I'm going to do this a bunch of times and measure it against the curve and the car until it's right. All right, next step, uh, now that I've got the curve close, is I took a Sharpie and marked right there, there, the beginning. It's it's a little bit off right now because it's going to fall. There we go. Basically marked this outer radius, inner radius, inner radius, outer radius. And uh, I'm going to work on trying to put a curve in here so when this is welded together, uh, we don't just have a hole here, but it looks like the factory groove stops. So we're gonna do that in the vise. All right, time to start making these grooves. So I'm gonna set the depth of my vise to kind of line up with those outer grooves and see if I can just form that in there. getting kind of the shape that I want. It's a little more bowl shaped than channel shaped. That looks a little better. Let's try it on this one. All right, and then this one I think is gonna be the hardest. This is kind of right on the edge. Well, I want just the very wing of this one to kind of bend back up. Let's go see how it fits. Okay, so we're getting closer. Uh, to where those grooves are, kind of the way that I want them to be, to match up. I've got a reasonable gap on this side. Um, that will sit down, I think. It's sitting a little high right now. It's partly because of the way I'm holding it, but I gotta tweak it a bit. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna work on is, this piece has a valley right here. So it rides here and then, curves off of this edge down, um, giving it kind of a factory edge right there and then plug welds or spot welds here. So I want to replicate that and bend, put a jog in it right here. So it'll go down and then I'll come up onto this piece and then I'll trim it off here after I drill the plug welds. So we're going to head over to the vise and, you know, just so you know, me getting these close is like 10 trips from here to the vise and back. Um, so now we're moving on to this flange. 
I forgot to videotape how I put this little flange in the bottom. I put it in the vise, big chisel, two pound hammer. Kept going back and forth like that a bunch of times till I got my little bend in here. Okay, friends, the patch is in. Um, not final, just tacked, but um, got pretty good alignment between the panels there. Gap's a little big in the in the grooves. I'll have to fill that in. Um, and then I will do the plug welds on the bottom. It's easy to get those to lay flat. You push down with the back of a hammer, weld one in. Then go to the next one, weld that in, and work your way down. They tend to lay down real nice. I learned that on the Mustang. So I feel fine that this will all pull nice and tight here. Uh, main thing is I want when we grind this smooth and grind this and along there, I want that, I want that seam to disappear as absolutely as much as possible. So um, this feels really good for not knowing what we're doing. Um, but we got a willingness to try, right, Dale? I have a willingness to try. A willingness to try. It's a great relationship. I weld and Dale grinds. Uh, although he's busy cutting lots of holes so that I've got a lot of welding to do so that he has a lot of grinding to do. But that'll be in an upcoming episode. So next is uh, I'm going to work on just starting to slowly fill these in with tack welds i'll probably jump around so it doesn't get too hot and then uh, we'll see how it comes out Hello friends, it is a week since we've been working on the beetle. And uh, so tonight, time to start blending in these seams, see how successful we are at making them go away, and then uh, plug welds on the edges. And uh, hopefully by the end of the night, we have repair that we feel really good about. Uh, I'm gonna start with my angle grinder with a cutoff not a cutoff disc, just a, a regular grinding disc from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna try to take the majority of the weld out. Then I'm gonna use my little pneumatic belt sander um, to do the final blend and kind of round it in. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the grinding first because that's not fun. And then I'll do the plug welds last because that's more fun. Uh, so I'm going to get started with the grinding. We'll show you the progress because that's not fun for me to, for you to watch me do. Dale just finished cleaning that out for us. And uh, I think we are done blending this in as far as we're going to take it. And uh, I have to admit, I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously, it's been welded. Uh, this is a little previous welding, but this is what we blended in. Um, you can see a few seams of the weld there, uh, but I kind of like how this looks a little factory-ish. Um, again, it's all covered up with carpet, so it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, but overall, this joint looks pretty good, and I am happy with the way that this joint came out all the way across this side. Um, then it blends in in the back. Again, you can see that it's welded. Not perfect, particularly right there. I could grind that one down a little bit yet. Um, and then now we're ready to start doing the plug welds on this side, which the, the key to that is to push it all the way down and hold it down while you fill the plug. Um, so you get good penetration into the, the 
metal below. So we will work on that next. Okay, friends, here is the, we're calling this done. And uh, at least for this patch, uh, Dale smoothed the plug welds out, tapped the edges down so the edges lay nice and smooth. And uh, I'll see if I can sneak in a picture of what it looked like before. Um, we're real happy with that. Uh, probably off camera, we're working on putting a patch in there. I've got it welded in. We need to grind and clean it up. Um, and then next week when we come back, we're starting on this side. And hopefully it goes better because we've done one already, which is nice. I'm all right. <laughs> Dale's, Dale's all right. Don't hurt yourself. Thanks for being part of Third Style Garage and following along. Uh, if you'd be willing to give the video a thumbs up and... Uh, Stay tuned for further episodes. Have a great day. Uh, call your mom and tell her you love her. Have a good night.